All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So the holidays are coming, and, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different stocking stuffers I have. This is pretty much a video for something like that. Now, I've got a big package in today, and I want to go over some of the things that was in the package. Uh, this first one here is only three bucks. So if you're a tech person or you know a person who uh, just likes to have a stand on their desk, this is definitely going to be a good one that they could use. This is definitely this could be considered a tablet stand, or you can use it for a bigger cell phone stand. And um, you just pop your phone on like this. Definitely will be good for a big tablet. Um, and it definitely would be good because you can have these different levels of adjustment here to support the back uh, of the of the phone. Depending on how big the phone is, you can have it uh, lay like that for the tablet. Uh, but more importantly, you can just adjust this. It screws and untightens right here on the sides. Let me grab a different phone here. You can have it like this. Again, you can put it like that. My tablet's downstairs. But this will be a good look for a tablet or a smartphone. Uh, it's definitely going to give it some support. So this is um, uh, Andy. Brand is Andy, and it's a metal stand for, for, for $2.88. You can buy a couple of these and pop them in some stock and stuffers. I have links in the description for all of these products right here. Uh, so this will be really nice right here, man. Just to have this sitting on your desk on a stand, your phone or tablet or whatever, that's going to be really nice. So I got a couple of smartwatches here that I'm going to go over as well. This one right here um, uh, is a really nice smartwatch. This one is actually uh, uh, IP68. And this one can actually, um, you get notifications for calls, text messages. Um, the first thing I saw, saw or first thing I thought of when I saw this smartwatch was, uh, <laughs> I thought of Will H from Will H Tech Reviews. Uh, that's the first person that I thought of when I saw this, man. So um, it's got a light on here too, you can light it up. So let me see if I can figure out how to power this thing on here. This is a rugged style watch, man. This is definitely not, it's got the analog ticker here. So that's actually pretty sweet, man. That's actually pretty sweet. So it's got the analog ticker already on board. And the back of the screen kind of lights up too. So let's see if I can see if this is the power button here. Might have to read the instructions. This has a um, a um, year long standby, I think it says, 12 months. This is crazy. This is gonna be crazy. So I can adjust the time right here. It's gonna be nice. It's got different modes, lights. I have to figure this one out. It's a sports watch. Definitely works as a watch. Uh, you can link it to your um, to your uh, phone. It's gonna be interesting to get into that. I'm gonna take a second and look at this in the book because uh, it says that it can receive SMS notifications, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. Uh, but here's the instruction manual that you get with it. And we're back. <laughs> so. Uh, wasn't very hard. You just download this application called Sports Plus, and it takes you in here, and it actually updated everything on the watch on its own. Uh, you have this application to help guide you through, uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. So you can go to modes here. There's different modes on here. I'll read the instruction manual later, but ultimately you can receive text messages on here. Phone calls will come in through here, um, and it picked, it changed everything. Let me see if I can send a text message real quick. Um, to see if it actually comes through. Send it from my project five. And what you do is you don't, um, you don't, yep, there it is. Sweet. So it, it, it's accurate. Uh, you don't pair it to the phone, you pair it to the application and it'll do the rest. You just turn on Bluetooth and then it'll take care of the rest. So this is actually pretty cool. This is a nice, this is one of the smartwatches that um, I wanted to show you here. Again, this one has a IP68 rating of waterproof and it can get phone calls when they come in. It can get um, SMS as you saw me just demonstrate there. Uh, and then uh, it can do Facebook notifications, Twitter notifications, WhatsApp, etc. It basically can do your notifications. And I think that's a pretty good look. You can also do a remote shutter for your camera via Bluetooth if you want to. And the funny part about this, man, it only has a 290 uh, milliamp hour battery, but they're claiming 12 hours, or excuse me, 12 months of standby time. So that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but um, this is just a, a little affordable uh, smartwatch, man. It's a smartwatch fitness watch. I mean, this is actually pretty hot. Now, if something I don't like about this, it's kind of weird to have the analog dial there. Um, 
when it's the same as the digital dial up under there but this is a a sportsman's watch man this this thing is freaking this is crazy right here man this is um, a really nice watch it's big uh, anyway i thought it will when i when i saw that one so that's another thing that you can grab um as a stocking stuff for you probably wonder how much this costs it's only 21 dollars and 40 cents folks it comes in this black uh and it looks like they have an army green as well the army green is fly but it does come in this black and it comes in an army green and that's that's real hot man that's that's a real good look so 21 dollars for this smartwatch is it's it's a it's a win man it's really a smartwatch it's for somebody who doesn't want to charge too also and it's a fitness watch so here's another smartwatch here this is more on the elegant side i'm, I'm gonna say this is for the ladies but i really shouldn't um this one only costs 28 dollars, man so again great stock st stocking stuffers for the holiday season so be sure to grab these while you can get them on sale um this one right here has a heart rate monitor so it's a little bit different than the other one you know what i'm saying so you get some stuff in here you get um a charger with this one it's going to be a proprietary charger so it's fine kind of looks like my zte charger but you know you've got that right there i'll leave that out so i can charge it up real quick and then you've got uh the user manual over here on this side i i had to read the manual for the other watch so i'm just going to leave this manual out because i know i'm gonna have to have to read it but i want to show you real time right here so let me grab a charger so i can put this on a charger and see if i can get some some power to it again this is to me this these are great stocking stuffers man for the holidays uh nice smart watches you can get for people it just goes on like that it's got some juices so it's already got some power that's a strong vibration vibration motor on this thing wow I mean, this thing has a strong vibration motor. This is crazy. Wow. So it's already powered on, looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and link it up to one of my phones. So it's giving you instructions right here, quick start guide, how to do it. Uh, so you need to install an application more than likely, and here it is right here in the Google Play Store. It's the uh, JU app. So let me get one of my phones here. And I'm gonna download, I'm just gonna put it on my G7 too um the ju app and again remember that other application for the other phone is called the sport the other watch is called the sports plus um so let's go let's get the ju app ju looks like that's it right there and then we're going to install it and this one right here is um this one seems like it's pretty nice man so uh, long press on uh, and touch for three seconds on the bracelet and will boot up. That's crazy. So let's open this up here. All right, so we're back at it. So um, here it is, man. This is what we're working with. So you get this application and it's got the steps and everything. Uh, and I'm going to try to control the watch from here. I like this application, this uh, right here, better than the one for this watch. This one is a little bit more complicated and it doesn't have as much options here. Um, let's see here, binding equipment. Let's connect the device. It's gonna be here. This is the same thing that it did uh, with, the, with the other one. You have to bind the watch. And uh, let's see if I can get it to bind real quick. Oh, it's gonna be S2. There it is. So it's connected in the time update, as you can see, because that is the right time. So uh, let's go back and let's see if we can get into some settings here for um, the English units. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> uh, device alarm. Take, you can take a photo. It's got the heart uh, heart rate. Um, yeah, I, I like the, the look and feel of this one, but this one is definitely going to be more intuitive. I can see. Uh, so, um, you can check the firm. We can do a bunch of device upgrade. Okay. So let's go back to status here and it looks like you can get everything. So let me, let me take this watch off the hotness, let's put this, this watch on. Cause this one has a heart rate monitor and I was trying to go through the, um, I was trying to go through the menu while I was doing that setup and, uh, <laughs> It, it you know it's swiping gestures. To be fair, I didn't I didn't read the man. <laughs> I didn't read the manual, but I did. Son. I didn't read it. So you log press. It's this one kind of goes on swiping gestures. 
Uh, but this is a smartwatch. This is another smartwatch. Stock and stuffer for you. Another one. And I'll just move this over to the side. Another good stocking stuffer. Another good one. So this last one here. So, so far we got the two smartwatches. You know what I'm saying? Got a nice little stand there. This last one here is a set of Bluetooth headphones. And um, let me see if I can rip this open here. These are really nice, actually, because I saw these. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely show these as a stocking stuffer for sure. Really, really nice set of Bluetooth in here. Just just watch. I'm going to put this back on the charger because I'm going to play with this in a little bit. I like that one right there. I'm kind of intrigued by that one. So this next one here is, um, these are the KZ8, uh, excuse me, KZ8, A, A, um, AS10s, and as you can see here, <laughs> certified boss right there, man. Look at this box. This is crazy. That lets you know these are probably gonna be hot. So it pop out like that. This is gonna be a nice stocking stuffer right here. You also get a band on this one right here. This was the eclectic part of this one. I could plug in if I want to. Look at how long this band is. I can't wait to test these, plugging them into the G7. And this is a, a cable that, you know, you can't really um, get it tangled up, the tangle free joints. It's got the plug-ins right here, where it plugs into the thing. This is, this is gonna be fire right here. This is gonna be fire, you got your right and your left. These are kind of big, so I'm kind of wondering, you know what I'm saying? These look really good though, so <laughs> they look really good. I mean, there's no sleeping on these right here, but you got the little certification down here, let you know this is authentic. I mean, whatever that says, you know what I'm saying? You got a little little fake plate right there. Let's get this to the side. And um, this this is a nice presentation. I want to plug in. This, okay, it's labeled on the bottom. I had to make sure. So this is the right. Because I want to see how they sound plugging in. It's going to be interesting. So this is the right. And this is the left. I'm going to test these right now for y'all. All right, so this part around here, you can see how I got it wrapped around. Now, I'm not sure if this is the proper way to do it, but this part right here does adjust. You can bend it, you know what I'm saying? And this is the way it's comfortable for me. Like wrapping it around like this, this is comfortable. It may look crazy, but I found that they, they fit nice and comfortable in the air like that. And I can tell you, these things sound good hooked to the G7. They sound real good, man. Yeah, this is a nice stocking stuffer right here too. They are Hi-Fi audio um, earbuds, man, and they sound good. The proper fitment is like this, the way I have it. Like, I got this one wrong though, but it was kind of, I got it as comfortable as I could for my ears. Uh, but when you plug these in, at least to the G7, man, these things sound good. They look fancy or whatever, but they sound really, really good. They sound good, so. I want to bring you a, a you know a lump sum video if you will stocking stuffers man from your man Jay it's, it's getting to be the holidays and um, you know what I'm saying I, I hope you guys enjoy the video these are gonna be really nice I don't foresee a person not liking these earbuds and I'll mess with this smartwatch some more um, you know this is probably I, I really like this watch right here for some reason I don't know I just like it uh, but the application on this one is a little bit more intuitive back here that's just my personal opinion you might get it and say oh Jay I figured that out. Uh, but a nice little cell phone stand or tablet stand for you. Again, all stocking stuff is right here. All of these right here, under 100 bucks. You can just grab multiple of these. These are $2.88. These are 47 a little bit on the pricier side, but I got to tell you, they sound really, really good. And uh, both of the smartwatches are in the 20s. So uh, nice, nice watches, man. Uh, and a nice little setup from GearBest here. I have a link to all of these in the description, so be sure to check that out. It's your man, Jay. Hope you enjoy. Stocking stuff is holiday time. Let's go.